Dick. What is up, guys? It's Big Daddy Phil's Two Cents here, back with another fresh video. Today we're just... <laughs> so yeah, you guys are stuck with me and Nick today for the first half of this video because uh, Jay wants to do a video on how games run on low end, like really close to the minimum requirements. And he's kind of stuck at a car dealership right now, getting some maintenance done on his car. So that means me and Nick are gonna be building this computer and surprising Jay with it, and it's gonna be sick. <laughs> but first, we gotta pay some bills, so it's right after these messages. <laughs> Corsair's new 32-inch Xenion 1440p gaming monitor has the features you need to play your best. Features like silky smooth 165 hertz refresh rate IPS display with one millisecond MPRT response time, Quantum Dot technology HDR400, and built-in mount for either a microphone, webcam, or even a DSLR. To see the complete list of features of the Corsair Xenion 32-inch gaming monitor, Follow the link in the description below. All right, so the game that Jay mentioned, the only game that Jay mentioned, of course, is uh, Farming Simulator 22. And so I looked at the minimum requirements for it, and it looks like it needs FX8320. Well, we got a Ryzen 3 1300X here. That should be fine. B4, whatever, HD, whatever. Eight gigs of RAM. So we have an eight gig kit right here. So graphics, we need, we need a low-end graphics card. And it, give me that, give me that 3080 over there. What do you mean a 3080 is not low end? Right. GTX 1050 because uh, the graphics requirements are a GTX 660 and this is probably the closest thing that we have to it. Also, check out that price tag. <laughs> sound card, it just says sound card. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, get to building and then try to make this computer as ugly and horrible as possible for when Jay comes in. And for the case, we have this awesome freaking top of the line. Yeah, this was my old Athlon XP build from way back in the day. Um, we upgraded the power supply because we don't actually feel like using the fire extinguisher today. But yeah, this case is still going strong. Come on, Ryzen. You can always have too little, but too much is fine. It just <laughs> everywhere. And who doesn't like a little <laughs> I like it sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Mm. Yeah. My God, this has a DVI port. <laughs> it's okay. We Wait, it has a VGA port too. <laughs> Man, integrated IO shields are like the one of the best quality of life things we've ever done. Ah. That's the beauty of these old. I mean, a standard that lasts that long is that it's still mount hardware from freaking 20 years newer. Check out this super mega ultra high end freaking intake fan. <laughs> Bam. Look at that. Look at that clean wiring. All right, graphics card time. A spectacle of graphics and sound. Da, da, da. I need a SATA power cable. So, yeah, you know, just gotta keep your cables clean. Now we have power running through the drive. And we're done. Dude, and people like always show off the SSD. All right, most important bit, you wanna make sure that um, when you put a, a case badge on there that it's really aligned perfectly. Okay. I'm missing a... Oh yeah. Bad boy's gonna make so many FPS. Are you ready for this? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Wait, what is? Oh, hey, uh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, okay, there. <laughs> it helps when the computer's plugged in. It's gonna be like getting devices ready. What the heck? <laughs> So much speed. It went from it went from a Core 2 quad and like an R6 or no, an R7 GPU something 7700 HD that Jay burned with a blowtorch. Holy crap. <laughs> Yo. So that video does work that we showed you. You just freaking put your new hardware in and then it'll do getting devices ready and then up and running.
Windows 3.1. All right, so I just literally walked into the studio. I have no idea what this build is. I told the guys, build the system for a minimum spec shown for Farming Simulator 2022, since I've been playing the crap out of that game. We couldn't even do an 8320, because like we showed before, I blew them all up. I like how the lowest end stuff we could really kind of grab out of here is still higher than the minimum specs required there. All right, so now the guys have built me the awesome Jalienware Area 69. Uh, PC, which by the way is completely unavailable this time of year because of supply and demand, inflation, and pricing. Six grand will get you one of these bad boys. Anyway, here are the settings. Um, eight gigs of DDR3. No, DDR4, right? DDR4. Yeah, DDR. I couldn't remember if first Ryzen was DDR3 or 4. Eight gigs DDR4. It's a Ryzen 1300 uh, X. Yes. Yeah, X. And then we got a 1050 non powered. MSI, which we typically only use this card to see a system post, let alone actually try and game on it. So we're gonna, it's, this conforms to the closest minimum spec that we could build uh, in terms of farming sim. Now, in terms of settings, we are running 1080p. I do believe this to be a, a, a setup that would be worthy of 1080p and not much higher. Hardware profile automatically went to high. Uh, Multi-sampling anti-aliasing set to off. I'm going to 2x because it looks pretty ugly without anti-aliasing on with the amount of foliage. Fol fold? Fold? <laughs> Foilage? Foilage, with the amount of metal foil. Shadow distance medium, this is all the settings it chose based off the setting it scanned. So let's go ahead and go to my career mode. Just a simple little farm, I've got $97,987 on that one. Don't ask me how I got it. It's funny, you would never think that a game about farming would actually be more popular than either Call of Duty, Warzone, Battlefield 2042, or Halo Infinite. So ask yourself this, is this game just that good or do those games suck that much? Holy moly, that FPS. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. There, oh, this is my dog. I got a dog. I don't know if I showed you that. Look, I got a dog in a dog house. He was wandering in the street yesterday. Yeah. That FPS 10. Oof. Nine? Eight. Well, look at my tractors though. <laughs> she think my tractor sexy. Yeah, that's a real song. There's your demonstration that FPS and latency are directly related. Look. It's like a half second. I don't think these settings are like properly scanning. I can't even, like I couldn't even tell if the tractor was going. Okay, I don't think auto high is appropriate. Oh, look at this, we're at 50 now and low. The problem is it, it loses the beauty. Look, there's no, there's like no shadows whatsoever, which obviously changes the immersion quite a bit. But look, we're getting 60 FPS. I could actually move around now and the latency has gone. Look, our GPU is pegged at 99%. Let's go check out my other farm or my other field. I ended up plowing this field bigger, but I'm debating on not planting anything back in this field. I'm debating planting more grass around it, making it smaller and having it be a either a cattle ranch part right here or potentially equestrian, maybe some pigs. I already got a chicken farm, or a chicken farm, a chicken coop. But you know what though? I mean, you could play this way. This isn't awful. It's definitely, I mean, Farming Sim 2022 has amazing graphics when you actually, uh, you know, have them turned up. So part of the beauty of this game is not just the, the, the care that you have to give your crops uh, and do things properly and, and tend to them and, and fertilize and get the soil ready with either lime or other sorts of fertilizers. Um, it's just the prettiness of doing so. Like you'll get up in the morning and if it's the, you know, you watch the sunrise and you'll see the actual God rays come through trees and stuff. And so you don't get any of that obviously with these settings. I'm gonna go to medium settings and then after medium we'll throw in like maybe like a 1060, which is still like the most popular GPU of like all time in terms of its performance to dollar and then adoption rate, the amount of 1060s out in the wild. Uh, I'm really curious as to how that'll perform going from a 1050 to just a 1060. All right, here we go on medium settings. Oh yeah, this is back to, this is back to an unusable mess. Wait a minute, if I'm looking this way, it's gonna be draw distance thing, it's 14 FPS. If I look, Back towards my farmhouse, 60 FPS. I mean, look how look how much detail is inside this cedar right here. On medium. I don't even need a cedar this big. I just bought it. So okay, maybe if you had a small farm then, with only a couple of pieces of equipment, then you could actually do this. Like okay, let me drive away from these vehicles. 
See, backing up, it's funny. I'm, I'm getting like half the FPS going backwards. Oh, you wanna see the coolest thing about this? About this tractor, Phil? You ready? Look at this, I face forward and it's all smooth again. Probably because my vehicles are back over there. Yeah, it so. doesn't do much coloring. No, check this out, are you ready? What? What has a turret? What? <laughs> oh, you can just, what? <laughs> This is a somewhat unfair test to somebody starting the game because you're not going to have this much equipment, but it's a very fair test to someone that's been playing the game and has been building their farms and equipment. All right, let's throw another GPU in here and let's see if we can't get that up. I'm curious as to if one tier from a 1050 to a 1060 is going to be enough to smooth that out. So let's see what we got. All right, 1060 is installed. This is a Founders Edition card, um, not even one of the overclocked cards or anything crazy out of that. It's just the uh, regular old founders. So we're back on the same settings that we were. We're still on the medium settings because I want to see in that exact same spot if we've alleviated by looking towards my farm and the vehicles that it turns into a half frame rate mess. It's a little choppy at the moment while walking forward. And I think it's because right now it might be compiling. So if I just do a little bit of a tour around all my stuff here, I wish I knew exactly, whoa, some big stutters. I wish I knew exactly what setting was causing it. But I think once I go around and kind of get all this stuff loaded into VRAM, until it swaps out that memory for something else, look at my little baby tractor. It's not even a baby tractor. It's big compared to like what you start with. And then, you know, obviously the small, medium, and then we got my large guys over here. Okay, so when I was testing it last time, I was in the cab. I was facing this way. And then I blew Phil's mind by Turning the seat around and changing the driving direction. Dude, it doesn't care. Mm -mm. You can even see the vehicles right there. The red. Look how fast this thing can turn. Oh god! Oh, that's a jump in my farm. You ready? You want to see it? Oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> Imagine eating at that cafe. You can see that. All right, let's try high settings here. Same thing as last time. I think I have to run around and let all this stuff like initially kind of load in here. That's my plow. It's a little big, right? Now you know why I accidentally plowed my field so big? <laughs> Jeez. I was like, well. <laughs> the overcompensator nine million. <laughs> Pro X max. Yeah, it's a little too big. So we're still on the 1300X. All we did was just throw a 1060 in here. 50s and 60s on FPS, get off my farm. Come on, if you had a tractor like this in a big open field, wouldn't you try and do donuts? Okay, well, even when it does like do its little dip into the 40s, it doesn't feel like it. All right, so obviously, like we just showed you, a, a 1060 is no problem hovering between 50 and 60 FPS. Remember, this is a slow paced game. I mean, you're going like seven miles an hour driving a plow through a farm. It's, it's not like you need super high frame rates, otherwise the game is gonna feel like a mess. Um, anywhere between like 45 and up, in my opinion, feels perfectly fine. 1060, perfectly capable of that at high settings with all those settings on default. Uh, 1050, medium settings with uh, some slowdown if you have a lot of equipment in your farm that is within view. There's something about the way these, the detail is with all this equipment. Uh, obviously it's very detailed in terms of the polygons. I mean, it's just look at the, look at the back of the tractor. Like look at the detail in this stuff, right? So if you have all this stuff in view and you have tons of tractors, I got five, four or five tractors in view right here. Um, that's always gonna affect your performance. 1300X, no problem whatsoever. The CPU sitting at 50%, 40%. Um, there's no problems whatsoever with the CPU. So CPU should not be your concern so much with this game, as much as I think an SSD would be very important because of loading times. And then secondly, a 1060 and up, obviously at 1080p. Um, 1440p and up, definitely gonna recommend something like a 1070 or higher. And then if you're looking at ultra wides and stuff, then clearly the biggest GPU that you can throw in there because of the amount of foli fo foliage. But if you're gonna turn on anti-aliasing or anything like that, you clearly are gonna need tons of VRAM and a fast GPU. As soon as your crops start to grow and you have all those leaves and stuff, it's gonna hit your performance hard. But this game is way more popular than I expected it to be. And especially amongst myself, because I keep going, oh, I just gotta do this task real quick. And I look and I'm like, it's been three hours. Holy cow. And then the sun starts going down. You're like, no, I need to finish this crop. And you turn on all your lights and stuff because you don't want to go to sleep. Because if you do, then you know you're going to wake up and there's weeds the next day you got to deal with. Yeah. Farmers, we salute you. Real farmers, not the game farmers. Not that esports farming either. That's not, a, that's no. How to computer build. <laughs>